this one is 3.9 here we need to find out axial force shear force and the bending moment for any section at theta for this given arc so so far we have seen beams which were straight in nature so whenever we had a straight beam like this we would cut it in two parts like this so one part will be your left the other one will be your right one we followed a sign convention so that this is your positive phase so shear force goes up negative phase shear force goes down bending moment on the positive phase was like this and the negative phase it was like this now for this arch also we need to follow a sign convention so let's first decide on that so if you are cutting this at an angle theta maybe this is small dx element comes out now here also since your theta is going this way positive so we can take this phase to be a positive phase and this one to be a negative phase and on the positive phase we can take all the quantities in positive direction so this is your axial this one is your shear force so this is your axial this one is your shear force and we can apply a bending moment which is in this manner okay similarly on the negative phase all of the quantities will be opposite to the positive phase so this is your axial your shear force is going to be acting downwards and your bending moment is also going to be in the opposite sense so let's say if i go here and cut this arc into two pieces we'll have this bottom part right here and the top one that comes out from here so if i draw the free void diagram of the bottom part i'll have these reactions from this point and the unknown shear force bending moment and axial forces at this point right but if i draw the top part here so let me draw this part separately here so the top one is somewhere like this and this angle right here is your angle theta from here there was a force applied p on this side and now this phase that has opened up new this will be a negative phase based on our convention so we can apply the unknown axial force in this direction your unknown shear force going this way and your bending moment going in this direction so let's put names there this is your v this one is your f and this one is your mb now we can follow a coordinate system which is your x is along this your y is along this line so that we can divide these forces in components and do the force balance on this so if i take the same coordinate system at this point p and we can mark these angles this angle is going to be theta here so if i do the force balance along the axial direction i'll see that your force f plus p cos theta is going to be zero this is happening along this direction now along the shear force direction which is this one right here we are going to have v plus p sin theta equals to zero now for the moment i can take moment about this point so both f and v they'll pass through that point so they will not contribute to moment so we are going to have mb this will give you a clockwise moment and this force p also will give you a clockwise moment and the distance from here to here is going to be this distance right here and if this is your radius r this angle is theta this is also theta so this becomes r cos theta so from here we can see that your axial force f is equals to minus p cos theta your shear force v is equals to minus p sin theta and your bending moment mb is equals to minus p r cos theta so these are the answers for this problem